It's triggering a lot of unreleased pain, yeah. repressed anger, guilt, and suffering that a lot of women have had. Oprah, Tyler Perry, T.D. Jakes, and the like have been in the news for a while now. It's like since Cassie dropped that bombshell of a suit on Diddy, it shifted something in the atmosphere. And now everyone is being exposed. These more or less untouchable elites are being shown to be more or less evil. And today, I'll be your guide into the sinister lives of these powerful men and women. The T.D. Jake controversy. The T.D. Jake's controversy has taken the internet by storm, with shocking allegations of sexual assault and involvement in alleged sex parties hosted by Sean Diddy Combs. Bishop T.D. Jakes, known as one of America's best preachers, finds himself in hot water as accusations against Diddy have brought his own scandal to light. In a TikTok video that went viral, allegations surfaced that T.D. Jakes had participated in events hosted by Diddy, engaging in same-gender relationships and inappropriate sexual conduct with a minor. These allegations have left fans of the bishop in disbelief, while Jakes and his representative vehemently deny the claims. As the story unfolds, it's important to approach these allegations with skepticism until they are substantiated by reliable sources. Well, let's dive in. In the world of preaching, there are few names that command as much respect and admiration as T.D. Jakes. Born Thomas Dexter Jakes on June 9, 1957, in South Charleston, West Virginia, he would go on to become one of the most influential and charismatic preachers of our time. But before the controversy that surrounds him today, Jakes had a humble beginning. Growing up in a working-class family, Jakes discovered his passion for preaching at a young age. Inspired by his father, who was a janitor and a Baptist minister, Jakes found solace and purpose in the church. He honed his skills as a speaker and developed a unique style that captivated audiences. With his booming voice, powerful presence, and ability to connect with people on a deep emotional level, Jakes quickly gained recognition within the religious community. His sermons were filled with passion, conviction, and a message of hope that resonated with millions. It wasn't long before the world took notice of this rising star. In 2001, Time magazine dubbed him America's best preacher, solidifying his status as a force to be reckoned with in the world of faith and spirituality. Jakes's popularity soared as he preached to packed stadiums and filled the airwaves with his television show, The Potter's Touch. His messages of empowerment, personal growth, and overcoming adversity struck a chord with people from all walks of life. But it wasn't just his preaching that made Jakes a household name. He became a sought-after speaker, addressing audiences at conferences, universities, and even the White House. His influence extended beyond the pulpit as he rubbed shoulders with influential figures in politics, entertainment, and business. Jakes's rise to fame was not without its challenges. He faced criticism and controversy throughout his career, with some questioning his teachings and financial practices. However, he remained steadfast in his mission to spread the message of faith, hope, and love. Despite the ups and downs, Jakes continued to build an empire, establishing the Potter's House, a non-denominational megachurch in Dallas, Texas. The church grew exponentially, attracting thousands of worshipers each week and becoming a symbol of Jakes's influence and success. With his charismatic personality, magnetic presence, and undeniable talent, T.D. Jakes became a beacon of hope for millions around the world. His rise to fame seemed unstoppable, until the T.D. Jakes controversy came crashing down. As the T.D. Jakes controversy unfolds, shocking allegations have emerged linking him to none other than Sean Diddy Combs. These allegations have sent shockwaves through the religious community and the entertainment industry alike. It all started with the accusations against Diddy, who has been facing sexual assault allegations related to his relationship with R&B singer Cassie Ventura. But it was a TikTok video that brought T.D. Jakes into the spotlight, alleging his involvement in the scandal. The video, posted by TikToker at Justine, claims that Ventura provided evidence against Diddy that also incriminates Jakes. While these allegations are yet to be substantial they have sparked a firestorm of controversy and speculation. According to a Giusnini, Ventura turned over videotapes, a USB drive, and even Kim Porter's burner phone. Kim Porter, Diddy's ex-partner and mother of his children, passed away in 2018. The video alleges that there is an email circulating with a plethora of other shocking claims, including T.D. Jakes's involvement with Diddy. The unidentified male voice in the video claims that Ventura was convinced to provide audio tapes and video recordings that contain footage of sex parties and private gatherings involving powerful and prominent individuals. These allegations suggest that T.D. Jakes has engaged in same-gender relationships and inappropriate sexual conduct with multiple men at Diddy's parties and abroad. The video goes on to claim that Jakes is referred to as a power bottom by male escorts. While there is nothing wrong or illegal about being gay, the allegation raises questions about Jakes's public image 
and the potential hypocrisy of presenting himself as a devoted family man while engaging in secret same-gender relationships. The controversy doesn't end there. The video alleges that a young male has acquired a lawyer to sue Jakes for an incident that took place when he was a minor. The details of the incident are not specified, but it is implied that it involved illegal sexual activity. The video suggests that the young man's family, who were members of the Potter's House, Jakes's church, were paid off to keep quiet. These shocking allegations have left fans of TD Jakes in disbelief. The video claims that Jakes's fall from grace is imminent, with his dirt about to be exposed. It's no wonder that Jakes has quietly lawyered up in anticipation of the storm that lies ahead. However, it's important to approach these allegations with skepticism until they are substantiated by reliable sources. Major media outlets have yet to pick up the story, casting doubt on the validity of the claims. The truth behind the T.D. Jakes controversy remains elusive. The T.D. Jakes controversy has sent shockwaves through the religious community and the entertainment industry. As the allegations against him continue to unfold, the potential consequences and impact on Jakes's reputation and career are becoming increasingly apparent. For someone who has built a reputation as one of America's best preachers, these allegations strike at the very core of Jakes's public image. The accusations of sexual assault, involvement in sex parties, and closeted homosexuality have the potential to tarnish his standing as a respected religious leader. If these allegations are proven true, the fallout for Jakes could be devastating. The trust and faith that his followers have placed in him may be shattered, and his credibility as a preacher may be irreparably damaged. The scandal could also have far-reaching consequences for his church, the Potter's House, and its congregation. The impact on Jakes's personal life cannot be overlooked either. If the allegations of sexual assault involving a minor are substantiated, he could face legal repercussions that could result in criminal charges and a tarnished legacy. Furthermore, the allegations could have a ripple effect on Jakes's relationships with influential figures in politics, entertainment, and business. The connections he has cultivated over the years may distance themselves from him, fearing a association with the scandal. The controversy surrounding Jakes also raises broader questions about the accountability and integrity of religious leaders. It serves as a reminder that no one is immune to the temptations and failings of human nature, regardless of their position or reputation. Regardless of the outcome, the T.D. Jakes controversy serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of idolizing public figures and the importance of holding them accountable for their actions. It reminds us that no one is above scrutiny and that the truth must always be sought, even in the face of shocking allegations. However, the T.D. Jakes controversy has ignited a firestorm of reactions and responses from supporters, critics, and the wider public. As the allegations continue to circulate, the diverse perspectives surrounding Jakes's reputation and character are coming to the forefront. Supporters of T.D. Jakes, who have been inspired by his sermons and teachings, find themselves grappling with disbelief and disappointment. Many have expressed their unwavering faith in Jakes, refusing to believe the allegations and standing by his side. The controversy has also sparked conversations about the accountability and transparency of religious leaders. Many are calling for a thorough investigation into the allegations and a re-evaluation of the structures that allow such abuses of power to occur. However, in the midst of the controversy, it is essential to support and uplift the survivors of sexual assault, ensuring that their voices are heard and their experiences validated. But what exactly is Diddy's connections to all this? Because his name just keeps popping up, over and over. Well, to understand this black billionaire, we have to go to the very beginning. The Diddy Controversy Diddy's journey in the music industry began in the late 1980s, when he worked as an intern at Uptown Records. It was during this time that he honed his skills and developed a keen eye for talent. His hard work and determination paid off, as he quickly climbed the ranks and became an A&R executive at the label. In the early 1990s, Diddy made a bold move and founded his own record label, Bad Boy Records. This marked the beginning of a new era in his career and would ultimately shape the landscape of hip-hop and R&B. With a roster of talented artists, including the notorious Big, Faith Evans, and Mace, Diddy quickly established Bad Boy Records as a force to be reckoned with in the music industry. But it wasn't just his skills as a record executive that propelled Diddy to fame. He also showcased his talents as a producer and artist. His debut album, No Way Out, released in 1997, was a massive success, earning him a Grammy Award for Best Rap Album. The album featured hit singles like I'll Be Missing You, a tribute to his close friend and collaborator, the notorious Big, who was tragically killed in 1997. Diddy's rise to fame was not without its fair share of controversy. He was known for his extravagant lifestyle and flashy persona, which often drew criticism from both the media and his peers. However, his undeniable talent and business savvy allowed him to navigate through the controversies and solidify his position as one of the 
the most influential figures in the music industry. One of the most shocking and controversial moments in Diddy's career came when his former girlfriend, Cassie, made serious allegations against him. In a lawsuit, Cassie accused Diddy of and years of abuse, painting a disturbing picture of their relationship. According to the lawsuit, Cassie claimed that Diddy subjected her to a pattern of control and mistreatment over the course of about a decade. She alleged that he used his power and influence to manipulate and dominate her, leaving her feeling trapped and helpless. Their public relationship lasted for six years, but the mistreatment persisted throughout their entire connection. The most distressing incident occurred in 2018, when Combs allegedly forced his way into her home and committed sexual assault. It was a long time coming, but Cassie finally decided to break her silence and bravely share her story, shedding light on the silent struggles faced by women enduring violence and abuse in relationships. The lawsuit discloses more troubling details, including instances of physical abuse. For example, Combs kicked Cassie in the face when he saw her talking to another talent agent. It also reveals how he confined her to a hotel room for a week, claiming it was for recuperation after the assault. A disturbing revelation emerges as Cassie recounts being coerced into participating in Combs' unsettling voyeurism fantasy called Freak Offs. It involved explicit encounters with male escorts while he watched, recorded, and took photographs. The lawsuit also mentions Diddy's anger towards Cassie's past relationship with Kid Cootie in 2012, even expressing a desire to destroy the rapper's car. Strangely enough, Kid Cootie's car did indeed explode during that period, confirming the ominous incident. One of the most alarming aspects of the lawsuit is the claim that Combs had access to Cassie's confidential medical records. The lawsuit cites instances where he obtained her MRI results directly, raising serious concerns about privacy violations. In 2016, during a freak-off, Cassie attempted to escape after enduring physical assault from Combs. In response, he angrily threw glass vases at her as she fled down the hallway. However, the most disturbing incident unfolded in 2018 when Combs allegedly sexually assaulted her after a dinner, leading Cassie to cut all ties with him for good. The details of the lawsuit were truly sickening, to say the least. However, fortunately, Cassie settled out of court, and reports are that she got a sizable check. Another source of controversy surrounding P. Diddy is his alleged mistreatment of artists signed to his record label, Bad Boy Entertainment. Several artists have come forward, claiming that P. Diddy exploited their talent for his personal gain while neglecting their professional and personal needs. They have accused him of unfair contracts, unpaid royalties, and a lack of support. These allegations have raised ethical questions about P. Diddy's conduct in the music industry, resulting in a tarnished reputation as a music mogul. Furthermore, P. Diddy's penchant for an extravagant lifestyle and luxury has also landed him in legal trouble. In 2015, he was involved in a car accident in Beverly Hills, colliding with another vehicle. This incident further added to the list of legal hurdles he has faced over the years. Now back to Cassie. When faced with the serious allegations made by Cassie, Diddy did not stay silent. He quickly responded to the accusations, vehemently denying them and asserting his innocence. In a statement released through his representatives, Diddy maintained that the claims were false and that he would vigorously defend himself against them. The public reaction to these allegations was mixed. Some people stood firmly by. Diddy, believing in his innocence and dismissing the claims as baseless, they pointed to his successful career and philanthropic endeavors as evidence of his character. Others, however, were deeply disturbed by the allegations and found it difficult to separate the artist from the accusations. The Hash Me Too movement, which had gained significant momentum in recent years, further intensified the public scrutiny surrounding Diddy. Many saw his case as another example of the abuse of power within the entertainment industry. The allegations against him sparked important conversations about consent, accountability, and the treatment of women in the music industry. Still, while the allegations made by Cassie are undoubtedly one of the most shocking controversies surrounding Diddy, they are not the only instance that have marred his career. Throughout his journey in the music industry, Diddy has faced numerous other controversies that have raised eyebrows and sparked public debate. One notable controversy that surrounded Diddy was his involvement in a nightclub shooting in 1999. During an altercation at a New York City club, a shooting occurred, resulting in three people being injured. Diddy, along with his then-girlfriend Jennifer Lopez and rapper Shine, were present at the scene. Both Diddy and Shine faced charges of weapons violations. Although Diddy was later acquitted of all charges, 
Even going far back to 1995, Sean Diddy Combs found himself entangled in a violent rivalry that would forever change the course of his life. It all began with the tragic shooting of Jake Robles, a security guard and friend of Marion Suge Knight, co-founder of Death Row Records. This incident would ignite a feud between Death Row and Bad Boy, leading to a series of violent encounters and allegations that would haunt Combs for years to come. The night of the shooting, Combs and Knight were celebrating musician Jermaine Dupri's birthday at Platinum City Club in Atlanta. What started as a night of revelry quickly turned into a scene of chaos and bloodshed. An argument erupted between members of the Bad Boy and Death Row entourages, fueled by the deep-seated animosity between Combs and Knight. As tensions escalated, the situation took a tragic turn. Jake Robles, a security guard and friend of Knight, was killed outside the nightclub. Eyewitnesses reported that an argument between the two camps had escalated into a physical altercation. Then Fulton County Sheriff Deputy. Chris Howard, who was present at the scene, provided a chilling account of the events that unfolded. According to Howard, he escorted Combs and his guests outside the club, believing that the coast was clear for Knight and his entourage to leave. However, as Howard told the Los Angeles Times, Knight's partner was just about ready to get into the limo when all of a sudden Puffy's guys came from around the corner, and one of them had a gun. In the chaos that ensued, shots were fired, and Jake Robles was tragically struck multiple times. After the dust had settled, Combs vehemently denied any involvement in the incident, claiming that he had no knowledge of the gun or the ensuing violence. However, Knight held Combs responsible for the tragedy, fueling the already intense rivalry between Death Row and Bad Boy. The legal repercussions of the Jake Robles shooting were significant. Combs was arrested and charged with multiple weapons offenses, as two 9mm guns were found in his car. Additionally, allegations of bribery arose, as it was claimed that Combs had attempted to manipulate his driver into claiming ownership of the weapons. However, in the end, Combs was acquitted on all charges, while Knight was found guilty of five of his eight charges and sentenced to 10 years in prison. Another controversy that has followed Diddy throughout his career is his alleged link to powerful individuals. Rumors have circulated that he has connections to organized crime and is involved in illegal activities. While these claims have never been substantiated, they have added to the intrigue and speculation surrounding Diddy's persona. Diddy has also faced criticism for his business practices. Many artists who have worked with him have accused him of exploitation and not properly compensating them for their work. They claim that Diddy took advantage of their talent and hard work for his own financial gain. These allegations have raised questions about the ethics of the music industry and the treatment of artists. Despite these controversies, Diddy has managed to maintain his status as one of the most influential figures in the music industry. He has built a successful empire with ventures in music, fashion, and entertainment. His label, Bad Boy Records, has produced some of the biggest names in hip-hop and R&B, solidifying his impact on the industry. Additionally, one of the most intriguing aspects of Diddy's controversies is the alleged link between him and powerful individuals. Over the years, rumors have circulated that Diddy has connections to influential figures, including politicians, business moguls, and even organized crime. The alleged link between Diddy and powerful individuals has sparked numerous conspiracy theories. Some suggest that he has used his connections to further his career and protect himself from legal repercussions. Others believe that he has been involved in illegal activities, leveraging his connections for personal gain. However, Diddy's not the only person on the chopping block. Oprah is too, heck, even Tyler Perry. In fact, they've been for years. Oprah and Tyler Perry's controversial life Revered as a national treasure and hailed as an empowering force, Oprah's extraordinary journey would take her from humble beginnings to becoming a billionaire, with an estimated net worth of $2.8 billion by the end of 2023. Oprah's talents knew no bounds as she excelled in multiple realms of the entertainment industry. From the silver screen to the written word, from captivating talk show host to masterful producer, there seemed to be no medium she couldn't conquer. Through her media empire, Harpo Productions, and her influential magazine, Oh! The Oprah Magazine, she empowered countless individuals, providing a powerful platform for their voices to be heard. Although Oprah bid farewell to her iconic talk show, The Oprah Winfrey Show, in 2011, her influence continued to flourish. She embarked on new ventures, captivating audiences with her insightful interviews on primetime television and streaming services. One such unforgettable interview was with the talented actress Viola Davis, showcasing Oprah's remarkable ability to connect deeply with her guests and bring their stories to life. In 2021, Oprah embarked on another interview, this time with Prince Harry and his wife, the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle. This conversation left an indelible mark, shedding light on important issues and captivating audiences around 
around the globe. Oprah's path to greatness began on a farm in Kosciusko, Mississippi, on a chilly day, January 29, 1954. Born to Vernita Lee and Vernon Winfrey, her parents soon went their separate ways, leaving Oprah's maternal grandmother to guide her through life's journey. Even as a young child, Oprah displayed a remarkable intellect, learning to read at a tender age. Some accounts even suggest that she unlocked the world of books as early as two and a half years old. At the tender age of six, Oprah's path took a different turn as she relocated to Milwaukee, where she found herself surrounded by poverty. Despite the challenges around her, Oprah's unstoppable spirit and unwavering determination continued to shine brightly, paving the way for the remarkable woman she would become. However, Oprah Winfrey's career has been marked by numerous controversies, but one that stands out is her association with Brazilian faith healer Joao Tex Sarah DeFaria, also known as John of God. In 2010, Oprah profiled Faria on her show, introducing him to a global audience and praising his supposed healing abilities. However, in 2018, shocking allegations emerged, accusing Faria of being a serial sexual abuser. Several women came forward with testimonies of Faria committing unwanted sexual advances during his healing sessions. The accusations sent shockwaves through the spiritual community and raised questions about Oprah's judgment in endorsing him. Critics argued that Oprah's platform had given credibility to a man who was later exposed as a predator. Oprah responded to the allegations by issuing a statement expressing empathy for the women coming forward and hoping that justice would be served. She acknowledged that Faria had been misunderstood by some and accused of impropriety. However, the controversy surrounding her association with him raised concerns about her ability to discern the true nature of individuals and the potential harm that can come from promoting figures without fully vetting their backgrounds. Another controversy that rocked Oprah Winfrey's career was her association with disgraced movie mogul Harvey Weinstein. In 2017, numerous women came forward with allegations of sexual harassment and assault against Weinstein, sparking the Hash Me Too movement and exposing the dark underbelly of Hollywood. Oprah had worked with Weinstein on the 2013 film Lee Daniels' The Butler, where he was credited as an executive producer. When the allegations against Weinstein surfaced, many questioned Oprah's knowledge of his alleged misconduct and whether she had turned a blind eye to his behavior. In response to the controversy, Oprah made a statement during Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop podcast in 2018, claiming that she had no knowledge of Weinstein's alleged sexual misconduct. She acknowledged being friendly with him and working with him on the film, but emphasized that she had no awareness of the extent of his actions. The revelation of Oprah's association with Weinstein raised questions about the complicity and accountability of those in the entertainment industry. As a powerful figure in Hollywood, Oprah's endorsement of Weinstein through their collaboration on The Butler brought attention and credibility to his work. Critics argued that her association with him, even if unintentional, contributed to the culture of silence and enabled his abusive behavior to persist. In 2020, Oprah Winfrey found herself at the center of yet another controversy surrounding the documentary On the Record. The film aimed to expose sexual harassment in the music industry, with a particular focus on hip-hop mogul Russell Simmons, who was accused of f and sexual assault by multiple women. Initially, Oprah had signed on as an executive producer of the documentary, lending her name and support to the project. However, just before its premiere at the Sundance Film Festival, she made the surprising decision to step down from her role. In a statement, Oprah explained that she believed there was more work to be done on the film to fully illuminate the experiences of the victims, and she felt that she and the filmmakers were not aligned in their creative vision. This decision sparked controversy and criticism, with some questioning Oprah's commitment to the Hash Me Too movement and her willingness to hold powerful men accountable. Critics argued that her departure from the project undermined the voices of the survivors and sent a message that their stories were not worthy of being fully told. And yet again, Oprah found herself around another controversy surrounding sexual misconduct. In 2020, Oprah Winfrey faced a wave of false rumors and conspiracy theories that accused her of being involved in a global sex trafficking ring. These allegations spread rapidly on social media, causing her name to trend and generating widespread speculation and concern. The rumors originated from a Facebook post that claimed disgraced movie mogul Harvey Weinstein had made a plea deal and implicated Oprah, along with other celebrities, in a sex trafficking club. The post quickly gained traction, leading to a flurry of online discussions and trending hashtags. However, these rumors were completely unfounded and lacked any credible evidence. 
Oprah, being no stranger to controversy, swiftly took to her official Twitter account to address the false claims. She described the rumors as awful and fake, emphasizing that she had not been raided or arrested. Instead, she reassured her followers that she was simply practicing self-distancing and sanitizing like everyone else during the global pandemic. Tyler Perry is also no stranger to controversies. From allegations of exploitation to accusations of perpetuating harmful stereotypes, the Tyler Perry controversy has ignited a firestorm of debate and divided opinions among fans and critics alike. In many of Perry's productions, female characters are often depicted as victims who need to be rescued or saved by male protagonists. This perpetuates the notion that women are helpless and incapable of solving their own problems. Additionally, the portrayal of women as overly emotional and irrational further reinforces gender stereotypes and undermines the complexity of female characters. One prime example of this is Perry's popular character, Medea. Medea, played by Perry himself, is a larger-than-life, sassy, and outspoken African-American woman. While Medea has become an iconic figure in popular culture, critics argue that her character is a caricature that perpetuates perpetuates negative stereotypes about African-American women. Furthermore, Perry's films often feature storylines that revolve around infidelity and domestic violence, with women being the victims. While these issues are important to address, critics argue that Perry's portrayal of these situations lacks nuance and fails to explore the underlying causes and complexities of such issues. Instead, they argue that Perry's films often present a simplistic narrative where women are solely victims and men are solely perpetrators. It is important to note that not all of Perry's work has faced criticism in this regard. Some of his films and television shows have been praised for showcasing strong, independent women who defy traditional gender roles. However, the overall pattern in his body of work has raised concerns among critics and audiences alike. Moving on to another aspect of the Tyler Perry controversy, we turn our attention to the allegations of exploitation within his production company. While Perry has been praised for providing opportunities for African-American actors and crew members, there have been claims that he takes advantage of his employees and creates a toxic work environment. One of the main criticisms leveled against Perry is his demanding work schedule. Former employees have spoken out about the grueling hours and intense pressure they experienced while working on his projects. Many have reported working long days and nights, often without breaks or proper compensation. This has raised concerns about the well-being and mental health of those involved in Perry's production. Furthermore, there have been allegations of unfair treatment and favoritism within the company. Some former employees claim that Perry shows preferential treatment towards certain individuals, leading to a lack of diversity and opportunities for others. This has sparked discussions about the need for greater inclusivity and equal opportunities within the entertainment industry. Another contentious issue is the lack of creative control given to writers and directors working under Perry. It is widely known that Perry is heavily involved in all aspects of his projects, often writing, directing, and producing them himself. While this level of control has contributed to his success, it has also led to accusations of stifling creativity and limiting diverse perspectives within his work. To be honest, one cannot be a big celeb and not be met with criticism and accusations. It comes with the territory. But if one thing is clear, it's how much Oprah, T.D. Jakes, Tyler Perry, and Diddy have been around a lot of controversies surrounding sexual misconduct. Now, of course, it's very possible that these allegations may be false. Still, one can't help but wonder. Thanks for watching. Click on the videos on your screen for similar content.